Good evening everybody. Welcome to the channel. Today I have a diagnostic interface by Nexus. It's for OBD2 and OBD EOBD. That means that your car will have to be 96 and up, which is the year of the car from 1996 and up. What we're going to do today, we're going to unbox this and see what comes inside. It's to be used on your mobile phone. Android or Apple. If you are like me and sometimes you don't want to take your car to the shop because maybe you haven't found somebody that you trust and only because you know half the time you've gone it's been very expensive. Here's a diagnostic tool to give you an idea on the diagnostics on how or where to start the diagnosing of your car. What we have here, you're going to plug into your service port. For those that don't know what this is, is where they use the diagnostics machines when you take it into the shop. All right, so it says to go to my Android Play Store, and there's the next link right there. Nexus next link tap on that one and I'm gonna see this very first app here it says uh, oops not that one it says OBD Auto Doctor ELM 327 and OBD2 so I'm gonna see if I can find that one since that's the first let me click on here and I am going to install it alright most cars OBD2 and up are going to have their service port under the steering wheel and I'll show you what it looks like or on the center console inside the center console and some cars even have them like by the seat not all cars are the same but most commonly most cars will have them around this dashboard area this is a, it says 2009 Chevrolet year car now that we have the app, I'm going to show you where it goes. I'm going to do a few close-ups and uh, let's see what happens. Well, there it is. This is my OBD serv OBD2 service port. Here we have the Nexus. Next link. The minute you plug in, oh, I see some lights. As soon as I click on the app, it started doing its own thing. Alright. This here shows my intake air temperatures. My engine cooling temperature. Whoa. I have other things that are not available here, but it's it could be different for every different car. This will not sense your um your ABS sensors, this would not sense obviously the um, the fact that I need air on my tires is not going to be uh, a good sensor for that. Right here on the bottom it says trouble code. Let's, let's go to diagnose. Oh, showing a check and it says ready for inspection. Yes, readiness monitor, reset, zero. This device cycle to complete. Let's try that. It says reset complete, drive cycle complete, fuel system complete, this drive cycle complete, everything's completed, this drive cycle complete, catalyst, this for the catalyst converter, comprehensive component, heated catalyst, EVAP, oxygen sensor check. Oh wow. So there are many things you can do with this. Mine is mostly green checks and things that I have to do if I was to drive it. Let's rev it up a little bit.
See if there's any trouble codes. Diagnostic trouble codes. Let's see. Distance reset trouble codes in MIL. Engine light off. Yeah, there is no engine light, which is true. This here is my uh, neat air in the tires. Okay, pending, pending, confirm one cycle. Alright, let's see. I got any trouble codes. Uh oh. It says EVAP system, leak detected, large leak. So that could be my gas cap or uh, uh, maybe a loose little hose or something like that. But nothing, nothing out of this world. Nothing that would keep me, nothing that's turning on my engine light. So my car is pretty good. Well, thank you very much. I hope you find this video informative. And uh, hopefully you can use this in the future. I will most definitely use it in the future. Uh, the way I showed you is through an Android phone. And uh, thanks for watching, guys.